Do you believe in Christmas? One evening, a family was sitting in their home. There was no evergreen tree in the living room covered with decorations or lights. There were no wrapped presents lying on the floor. And why should there be? There was no reason for any of these things on December 25th because nothing happened to warrant any special recognition of this day. Or was there? Was there an event that changed everything? Was there a child born that day that was destined by God to be the Savior? Was there a man that would live, do wondrous deeds, and preach of salvation and everlasting life to all who would follow him? Was this man ultimately persecuted for his preaching and that his distractors would arrange his death by crucifixion on a cross? And was this man, known by the name of Jesus, sent by Almighty God to die for the sins of those that chose to follow him so that upon their own death they would forever live with God and Jesus in a place called heaven? Did all of this happen? Is this for real? The answer to all these questions is simple and the same. Yes. The foundation for that answer lies within the pages of a single book, the Holy Bible. This is a book containing the written history of mankind from its beginning to be used as a testament of accuracy and a documentary for all who read the pages. It is a book written by those who saw the events described. It is a book written by those who lived at the time of the birth, life, and ministry of Jesus Christ, and those who were with him at his death and witnessed his resurrection. It is the only book necessary to find the one true key to unlock the answer to the question of truth. I know it is true because the words of the Holy Bible give me the faith not to fully understand, but to believe. And from this Holy Bible, Luke 2. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be enrolled. This was the first enrollment when Quirinius was governor of Syria, and all went to be enrolled, each to his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the city of Nazareth to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be enrolled with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to be delivered. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. And in that region there were shepherds out in the field keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were filled with fear. And the angel said to them, Be not afraid, for behold, I bring you good news of a great joy which will come to all the people. For to you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace among men with whom he is pleased. When the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they made known the saying which had been told them concerning this child. And all who heard it wondered at what the shepherds told them. But Mary kept all these things, 
pondering them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had seen and heard, as it had been told them. Yes, I do believe in Christmas and why we celebrate the birth of Christ.